I'm here with Ralph Karsten at the High End Society Show in Munich, Germany. Ralph, how are you? I'm just fine. How are you? I'm very good this good. morning. Good to uh, hear you. We're starting the show in your room. Uh, you always get great sound uh, with horn awesome. loudspeakers, and you're teamed up with a, a fantastic company that's kind of be newer to our viewers in uh, North America. That's true. So show us what you're bringing here at the show. Okay. Well, we actually, um, our German distributor has just about our full lineup here. So great. We're listening to the MP1, and we've got the covers off of it here so uh, people can get a view inside. Uh, uh, Dr. Feichert was good enough to uh, lend us a machine, and uh, Jung Tree Mai of uh, Triplaner has uh, offered us uh, one of his new arms. So uh, we have a very nice analog front end. Actually, uh, two uh, digital uh, server processes running uh, as well. So uh, we're pretty well covered on the front end. That's great. Uh, and on static display, we have our, our little amp, the S30, 30 watts per channel into 8 ohms. Our entry level preamp, uh, which is fully differential and balanced, just like the amps are. And uh, so. You know, that's the first I've seen the hammer tone finish uh, really? on the front on, on the on the preamplifier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I usually see the gold face plate that oh, you bring because, out to the shows. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's John's, yes? Yeah, that's John's personal. He that's had it right. done custom. Yeah, we're referring to John Wolf from Classic Audio Loudspeakers, yeah. and we well, see that a lot. You know, um, all our panels on the preamps and also the meter panel on the amplifiers, we do them in custom colors, and mm -hmm. we don't charge any extra for it. So I that's, didn't know that's, that. Yeah, that's part of... How it is. So this one was done in gold. That was done in black. This one was done in hammer tone. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, as you said, John had his done in gold. In for gold his, for his preamp. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a set of MA ones over here with hey, we'll the silver finish. Yeah, let's swing around and take a look. On our way over, we have. Yeah. Uh, and this is a set of M sixties, and they have polished stainless meter panels. So, uh, like I said, we do a variety of finishes. Well, there you go, viewers. I've uh, looked at atmosphere and known atmosphere amplifiers for well over 20 years, and I did not know that that was part of the, when you order, you yeah. pick your fit and you pick your finish. Yeah, yeah. It just, yeah, it's, it's more fun. So this is the same amp, but again with a gold front. And, yeah, I like that, yeah. Uh, and that's what the silver looks mm -hmm. like, which is actually a natural anodized brush. Yeah, now that would be the pair I would have in... If I this is actually our most popular. Yeah, color. I can see why. I like the contrast between the, the brush finish and the, and the matte the, yep, hammer a, tone or the, uh, you know, texture paint. The company that made this little placard has been in business for 75 years making placards for the military. And the company that makes the lamps here, they've been in business for almost the same length of time doing uh, uh, military stuff. When we created our retro appearance, we actually went and got authentic parts, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. Just because it was fun, it was the right thing to do. That's very, you know? very, very, so, cool. very cool. And, and, you know, we wanted it to look like it was some sort of vintage piece that was collectible that you weren't previously aware of. That's very, so, very nifty. So that was, that was how we did this whole thing when we started doing the, the Mark IIs back in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. And uh, we brought that into the Mark Threes. Now, you've seen John's Novacrons. Yes, I have. Okay? This is the same radius curve. So we tried to bring some of those uh, aspects uh, of the Novacron into our other product to help with that retro look. Well, hats off to Atmosphere and Ralph. That's a great walkthrough. It's the first I've uh, learned about uh, the fit and finish in this special order. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other options that are available too. We have, uh, uh, you can get uh, V-cap, uh, Teflon caps, Caddock resistors. So lots of parts upgrades. The wire that's inside we have custom built mm -hmm. for our specification. Most of the resistors are anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we also have power supply boost options for the smaller amps. The bigger amps come standard with it. But uh, by bigger I mean the MA2 and the MA3. The smaller amps like the MA1 and the M60 and the S30 we can take the power spike capacitance in the output section to an unreasonable amount and you know because 
you know, <laughs> audiophiles frequently do this sort of stuff to tweak their equipment. We figured, you know what, we'll offer these options because we've listened to all this stuff. We know what it sounds mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And we were the first manufacturer to offer Caddock resistors. That was in 1979. It was a full decade before we heard of another manufacturer using Caddock. And of course, you've heard of Vichet since then. Sure have. But the Caddock resistor, there's a particular model that's better than any of the Vichets, and we've been using it for a very, very long time. Uh, we've listened to all the resistors that are out there, and so we developed all these options so that if you have the money <laughs> and you want to tweak with it, you know, why open this stuff up and, and do it yourself potentially, and, and mess, potentially it up. mess it up? Just yeah. have you do it from the get go. Well, you know, yeah, here's great. an example of our construction technique. And you can see that a lot of a lot of care goes into wiring everything. And uh, you know, if you're someone that's just going to cut into this stuff, uh, it's rare that we find somebody can actually do the work better than we can. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it is difficult. I started soldering in a junior high school uh, shop class, and uh, I can solder very neat, but not everybody can. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of uh, an art. Yes, yep. that's for sure. Well, thank you very much, Ralph. That's a fantastic walkthrough today. Thank you.